Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US stocks for the 20th of July. We'll be covering um, Alphabet and Netflix and NVIDIA and uh, a new stock, um, Organovo. Uh, so we'll get to that one. That's actually a trade we can do on that particular stock. Um, starting here with NVIDIA, we're looking at, uh, in the bigger picture here, from back from 2018-19, We've got wave one and two here, and then the market's moved up. Let's pull back very close to the, well, inside the 50-60% retracement level for wave two. We've been tracking five waves up through here. Now, the good thing about this is that we are at um, what I call a medium level. So 300 is a major level, and then 500 is a major level, and the 400 in between is a medium level. So that medium level there, that gives us the opportunity to look for a trade setup at this stage. Now, a lot of the bigger stocks at the moment have come off their highs, as you know, and um, I don't think it's the end of them for some of them. Um, still, they obviously they can they can push higher, but I don't really think this is like a big enough correction within this space here to satisfy. Um, uh, this particular trend here that we're looking at here. Yes, of course, the market where, you know, we don't want to stick our head in the sand because the market you know, is in an uptrend and it can just continue to to do that. So we need to be mindful and have a strategy for that. But at the same time, um, it's normally we would expect a correction across uh, a level like this here. So that in mind, let's just uh, move in a little bit closer for this. Now, as I mentioned uh, here, we're looking from wave four to wave five here for wave one, okay? Now, if that's the case, then we look for uh, an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave back down. And um, yeah, then we can move into it. Um, it's also possible that the little move up through here could be wave one and back for wave two here, and then just continue up through there. So we need a strat, we need some tactics for that. Um, but the thing I like about what's happening at the moment with stocks um, and indices is that a lot of them are correcting at really large numbers, which gives us an opportunity. You know, those those corrections will really find uh, grip to that um, these large numbers. And out of that, if we give it enough time and be a little bit patient, we should, as the correction matures, uh, we'll be able to understand it better and um, then look for um, moves within all of that. So um, I think we just go straight to the tick chart here for this um, at this stage. So, um, this is just 100 ticks, but the top here that I'm looking at here, I uh, just wanted to sort of go over little things. In most cases, we can count this as an impulse wave to the downside. So, we were looking for a corrective uh, move uh, to come back up. So, we've got that corrective move here. But the thing that sort of makes it a little bit difficult now is that the move down through here is also corrective. It's a five wave structure. We've got one, two, three, four, five to here, three wave structure, right? But five waves here, uh, corrective move back here. And then we've got one and two and three and four, five. So, this is a corrective pattern here. So, technically, we should be going up above this level here now. Um, so it is possible, um, it would have been nice if we got five waves down here and then three waves back, but we're not even getting three waves here. If this is 100 ticks here, let's just drop it down to five ticks and look at this little section uh, in here. Let me just get in a little bit more data here for a moment. So this is where we are and it becomes a little bit clearer here now for, for this. So you can see in this case, well, you, you can, well, there's you can see this move, that move, that nice strong third wave here, this move and this move. So this is five waves here, then market pulls back up and then one and two nice strong third wave again, fourth and down for the fifth. So we've got an ABC. So technically we should be taking at that top there. So then what we normally look for, we normally look for, um, we normally look for an impulse wave to help confirm things. So in this case, here we can look at this as a five wave structure up here and then back again, and then one and two and three and four and five up here for the third, AB for the fourth and up for the fifth. So we've got five waves in this section uh, here now. So technically, the good way to, to move into this is really across these um, uh, new highs here as such. So we could have a long trade there and we could put the stop under here for this.
Okay, um, how far will that get us? Will we be looking at a? Um, would we go one and two and three and four and five here and then fail at this point and then move down from that point? So that's that's really quite possible as well. So um, I'll just I think I'll just sort of leave you with that one. Um, but if this is wave one here, right, then wave three should be as long as this, if not longer. So it should push up here to the top here. And then we should have four and five. But we've already pulled up to the 50, 60 percent retracement level, as I mentioned before, which is here. So um, we can you can trade long here. But the thing is, is that um, I think somewhere around the around the 420 area is that we would have you'd have to sort of lock in profits there and then reassess it because we got these are the um the levels here that's all of group one and that's the medium level here the 400 so the wave structure is showing pretty much a bearish move here but then i'm thinking well um we've got an a wave here a b wave here and a C wave up through to this area through here. So once these five waves play out, out as one and two here, and three and four and five here, that's you'd have to get out there because the market could fail at that point and then come down from that point. So you just need to be a little bit mindful um, of that. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to call a trade here for this, but we're just sort of explaining it. But one of the important things here is that we are seeing a corrective pattern at the 400. That's the good news here. And even let's just say that the market went straight up from here. Well, what we would see is one and two and three and four and five up here. And then we would see an ABC back again. And then we could go along on the top of the B wave there. So if I could, I can't draw on this side, but um, I could draw um, over this side. So if we, if we had one, two, three, four, and five coming up here, and that's being wave one here, one, two, three, four, five. Then we come down for an A and a B and a C wave here. Well, then we can go along at that point there for this stock. Because if that gets breached, that makes that corrective and we'll be going up that point. So that's would, that would give you a longer term trend. That would take us up to 450 or something of that nature once we've got that sorted out there. I'm just going to uh, clean this up while I'm here. Otherwise, I'll forget. I can only have a certain amount of things on the platform. And I've got to keep it tidier because I've got a lot of stocks to get through. So just recapping this situation here just on the four hour chart here um, I'm looking for a, a deeper correction and then we can go in and look to buy on that but as it stands at the moment um, this can let's just clean this up here at this stage we're looking for one two three four five here and then and then down here in something like this here I'd imagine that's what we're sort of looking for there. Um, but it could continue up there. But if that's the case, then we'll look to go long on the B wave there. OK, so we want to move on to the next stock now, which we'll have a look at Netflix. So this is, um, I've got different counts for Netflix, um, but it kind of doesn't matter in a way. One of the important things here is that we are having a correction at the 500 here, which is a major level, which is fantastic because what happens, um, you know, these are the, the initial swings, but after a little while it settles down and it will find the 500 as a balance line in the corrective pattern. And that means that later on we'll be able to use that as support to go up to the next level. We may be able to get a better position than that as well, but we just need to be a little bit mindful um, uh, with that. So I'll just go to the four hour chart here and this will have a different count on it. So <clears throat> this count here is, is different. It's still continuing to the upside. So we need to be a little bit mindful um, of that. And uh, in this case here, uh, you could also come in for a buy here as well. If I bring the stochastics in here for a moment, 
you can see that every time that it was actually below the level here or below the level here it was a reasonable buying opportunity this one didn't pan out that well but all of these have worked out really quite well so it's quite deep here so we can expect this market to snap back so if you're looking to get into this market, then it's uh, here's a good chance to uh, to do that. I mean, me personally, um, I would rather wait for the market to sit on top of the 500 because if it's going to fail, it will fail at the retest of the 500. So what we would do is we would move this up and sit it on here for that. So make sure that it's got a nice, um, you know, nice setting on top there for that. I'll just... Uh, Let's go to 100 ticks first and have a little look at this. So don't worry about the big account here at the moment. Um, so we don't know if this correction's over. We can count five waves down here, and then we can look at this as an ABC pattern here, and then we've got another five waves here. So this could just come back up and retest this and drop down again from that point. So this is where we need to be really careful about this. So um, like personally, I know that like we've got five waves to this point here, so I know that we're going to push up, but you'd want to see a really nice support sitting on top of the 500 there because that's where it would crash at the moment. So a lot of these big stocks that we're looking at have got these corrections that um, are unfolding. And what normally occurs on on the uh, on the Friday will follow through on the Monday. So there's more weakness. There can be more weakness in this to come. So we're not going to put in uh, a buying order here yet. We've got we've got plenty of time for this. And like I said, with corrections, um, you know they're normally in three waves, and um, we do have three waves here, and it can push up. But there's no evidence that we have an impulse wave to the upside. Yes, we can see an impulse wave in this little structure here, and as I mentioned with the other one, we should see these rally up from this point, and you could buy them. Um, but I want to see more evidence um, first for that. I want a proper setup from that. So we could go long above here, for example, if we got support on top of 530, because then that would take us higher at that point. Um, yeah, so let's uh, just go back to the daily chart and recap that. So this can be counted differently, this here. I've just been playing around with it again today. I've just been going over it and over it to see, see what counts that I can um, count out of it. And then I need to go back and then I need to go over them again and start eliminating them one by one. So... Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I think this is the early stages of a correction. Yes, it is in three waves and the market can move straight up from that point there. But I'd rather give it another few sessions before, uh, and then re-look at it and, and also bring it in line with the other markets as well because they're all doing the same thing. So during this week here, we'll have a good understanding of these pullbacks, what we're actually looking at, if they're going to be coming deeper um, and so on. So the next stock we're going to be looking at is uh, Alphabet, Google. And once again, here with Alphabet here, um, there's no change here for the moment, but um, we do have five waves up from the low here. And once again, we could from wave four here to wave five, we could call that wave one and pull back for wave two and then move up there further. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just want to see, and the good thing about this too, we're also at a medium level here, 1500. So um, I just think we just need to just give it a less. I find with corrections is that if you make a move too quick with them, you'll get trapped. You know, sometimes you get away with it and it's cool. Um, but um, generally speaking, it's good to allow them to unfold, let them mature. And the more that you can do that, then the more you can actually see what type of pattern they're, uh, they're unfolding uh, here. So... Uh, you know, last week, whatever, we spoke about this particular move down being um, being impulsive. Um, so we knew we'd have some sort of correction and another drop. Um, this could ra rally higher here first and then come down. We just need to take a closer look at that. So let's go to 100 ticks here. A um, couple of things here, I guess. Um, like I mentioned, we've got an impulse wave down through here. Um, this move here, let's, well, I might just better off on five ticks here rather than a hundred because it's hard to see inside all of this here okay so I've done some work here that's good so yeah last week we talked about you know the move down here being impulsive so that means that 
coming down as impulsive after a correction, then we should come further down, right? Um, with this one here, I just want to, um, this is really sort of splitting hairs, but I think, uh, as I say, I think the, um, the details are important. So what I can see here in the rally here, I can see one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I know they're all overlapping wave structures and you could count it differently as an A and a B and a C wave here, but still it doesn't really matter. Here we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we can look at this as an A wave, a B wave and five waves for the C wave. Whichever way you want to like count this, it comes out as a corrective rally. And also this move down through here, it's also clearer in this stock here where we've got one, two, three, four, five here for the A wave, the B wave, then one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five for the C wave here. So this is corrective. So if this is corrective, that means we need to take out that top there. But at the same time, because this is corrective, we at some point we need to take out this low here as well. All right, so complicated but that's the way the cookie crumbles and um, so my best guess of this is that this is an A wave here an ABC for the B wave here then one and two and three four five here for the C wave so I think we'll see a few more sessions of, of rally in markets and then um, then we'll see another move down from this point. So I'm not, we're not really prepared to do much at this stage with this particular stock or any of these stocks that are in this, you know, in the same basket. You know, um, sure there can be other stocks that are doing their own thing, um, and we're going to have a look at one of those right now. And let me just take this back to the daily chart. <coughs> So where are we for this? Just give me a second. Okay. So this stock here, the thing that I like about this, this is going to go into the Geno section, this particular stock here, um, um, Organovo. Um, so um, I guess Novo is Latin for new, so um, organ new. So it's got to do with tissues, uh, skin tissue. So these guys are doing some great work with skin tissues in um uh you know in the in the medical side of you know replacing skin from being burnt people get burnt and really replace skin and all those sorts of good healing things so um the thing about this stock though i was got to warn you is that it's been moving down for a long time but um i think that it um has got a bit of uh support now uh, there's a few good things happening with it. Um, one of the things here, this is this is 50 cents, and then we've got a dollar here, so five to me is the second strongest number. What it's done is migrated from having that as resistance to support over here. And this, I mean, you probably recognise this little pattern. It's probably worth talking about a little bit. When markets are new and they're, they're, they're starting off, this is the typical pattern that they start with. They basically, they shoot up and then they come back in, in three ways. And we've got a nice A, B and one, two, three, four, five here for that. So we've got a nice impulse wave up and then an A, B, C correction. So in Elliott terms, it's good. And also in Elliott terms, we've got an impulse wave here as well. But this little pattern here is pretty much, you know, this, this is really what Elliott Wave is all about, but it's really what the markets are about as well because we have this five waves here. It's like when they released gold in, um, was it 72 or 71, 73? I thought, oh, I thought it was 72, but I think somebody mentioned it was 71. Um, I didn't come on the scene until 82, but, um, you know, Bitcoin, gold, all these new things that start up, they have, this is the pattern they have and they just keep repeating this pattern and it just gets bigger and bigger. So this pattern here, it will be the, it will be the same again over here one day, but it will just be bigger and then it will be bigger. This is the way they grow, it's fractals. So this is the first fractal coming off the low for this stock here. I'm going to go to the four hour chart now so we can just have a bit of a look, closer look at this. So I think this stock will be um, a good buy um, for the portfolio. Um, it's high, obviously it's higher risk because it's a penny stock, but 
Um, I think a very small position here and holding it for the for the longer term, you know, the five year kind of thing. Um, this is this, you know, if you ever wanted the beginning of something, well, this is it. This is uh, a new technology um, and it's going to be disruptive and it's just starting. And I don't see I don't see anything sort of wrong with it in terms of the pattern here. And we've got support at 50, and now we've got, and the next level up is 80, and then the next level up from that is a dollar. They're all major trading levels. So we could have 10, 20, 30, 50, 80, and then we go with the Fibonacci numbers, we go back to one again, the power of 10. So $1, $2, $3, $5, $8, $10, the power of 10 to 20 to 30 to 50, and so on. So that's how that sort of works. I'll just remove that. We don't need that there for the time being. So even though the, the other thing here is, is if you're going to buy a small amount of this, then just make it a bit small because we know that the markets overall um, are we going into a corrective pattern in a few days' time, right? They'll be coming lower and the, the Googles and all those guys will be coming, they'll push up for a couple of days and they'll go lower. So this this stock here can just, you know, can, can pop up, but... Um, uh, it um, it could it could become weak again in a few days, but it should stay um, above this level here. But if I bought this stock, and I probably will, I'm still getting organised with things. I'm just setting up accounts um, for for this, and um, I've got to set up accounts in Australia. Um, I'm just a bit. I, I I want my money in Australia, not in another country. Um, and I want to do it through the right institution so so I know it's safe. I mean, banks in Australia are pretty much guaranteed up to 250000 um, by the Australian government, so that's just a nice little thing to have. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I think this is a, a buy, and, um, and we'll look to um, add to this as well as time goes on over here. So um, I'll leave it at that today. Um, yeah, alrighty. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.